Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers, and this is number 34 in my Powerful Tools of Affinity. And I thought I'd have some fun today with channels. I'm going to do this in both desktop versions and iPad versions on the same video, so if you want to just go to the iPad version, just skip ahead. My goal here is just to have some fun with channels. Sometimes you just want to relax and play around, and that's what I did, and I thought this was kind of interesting. So let's get started. I pulled in this image from, Pic I believe it was Pixels. Um, I just typed in action. You can use any photo you want. And this picture came up and I thought it was pretty good. And I thought it was a great one to use. And what I'm doing now is, it, this is an image. And if I go to channels, it just shows all the channels. But if you right click, it doesn't give you the option to inverse, so I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is duplicate it so I can keep my original. Control or Command J, and that duplicates it. And then I'm going to right click and choose Rasterize. And we can get rid of the one below right now. So now that we have this one Rasterized, I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Control or Command J so that I have more than one copy. And what I'll do is, let's hide that one. We want more than one pixel copy in this case. Now that it's rasterized, if you go to the channels panel, now there's four more channels down here that weren't there before. Because the image, when you had it as an image, it only showed these four. If you right click, it didn't give you the choice of in, inverting that color. So let's try red first. And again, I'm just playing around because different ones will do different things. And I'm going to just invert it. And this is what you get. And that's fine by itself. And so we're going to go back to that layer. And then I'm going to hide that one. And let's duplicate this other one that we had. That's still a pixel layer. We'll hide the one below it. And this time I'm going to go back to Channels. And this time I'm going to right click on the green layer and click Invert. And that looks fine to me. And then we're going to go back hide that one and we're going to click on the next one and I don't need to duplicate it because it's red green blue I'm just going to go into the channel there go to the blue layer and click invert so now that I'm back here the, the fun comes with there was just so many so many options here when it, when it comes to blend modes so for example if I choose the first one I can maybe Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I have to have it on first. Let me undo that. Okay. If I turn this on, I could turn them all on right now, and I choose the first one, and maybe I'll choose Overlay. And I'm not sure if that's the one I'm going to want, but later on we'll figure it out. Next one I'll try an Overlay too. And that gives you these type of colors. Um, I could, rot I can change them around. Let me put this one as an Overlay too. I can change what order they come in. And then if you can kind of have some fun afterwards, you can maybe change them. Maybe one is a multiply, or you just go down the line and you'll see different things happening. And I got some interesting results as I went through them, and it depended on the combination I was using. Like, look at that one. I thought that was pretty interesting right there. And, and the, now I just have it on negation but don't forget this one is still on overlay so I can change this to different things too and all different kinds of fun stuff happen I'm just gonna play around like to see what I think and I have no idea what it's gonna end up with I did a few cool ones earlier I was just playing around and practicing but I should have saved them because I don't I don't know how to repeat them because I didn't write down exactly what I was going to do but if you pick different ones like that and maybe I'm going to multiply that one and and then maybe this one I'll bring up to the maybe I'll bring this one to the top the multiply one and then this one was still in negation and this one is overlay so let's try this one as contrast look at that and then there's other kind of things you can do this is just if you are following each other's things but if you you can decide at one point to move them so let's say we let's do some overlay stuff let me just see what I'm going to do let me put this on overlay and put this on overlay just for now 
And the next one, all three are on overlay now. Well, if I take this one and I move it slightly, I don't know if it's going to work. You'll see that there's a difference in where I'm moving them to. And the next one, this one below, I can move that one also. And then I can have kind of a three color interesting effect. And then I can go once again, I can go back to doing different things like a multiply, color burn. And look at that one. I think that's pretty cool too. So I, I really encourage people. Wow, that one, I like that actually. I really encourage people to play around. Don't believe you have to follow everything you know, exactly the way it was meant to be. The whole point is to be creative. Now look at something like this. You can decide maybe you like that. I'm not saying it's a good one, but let's say you decide you like that one. Well, then you can kind of go to um, a layer, uh, Merge Visible, which now you'll have one copy on top, and then you can play around like even, and without ruining the ones below, you can go to Levels, or you can go to you could do all kinds of interesting things. You want to brighten it like this. Look at, and then of course you'll crop this out and you can, you can create some interesting different effects with that. If you don't want to do levels, let's delete that. How about vibrance? And let's see if any of it works. I don't know what's going to work, what's not going to work. You can turn it into a little black and white negative kind of a fuzzy thing. And again, I'm playing, I'm, I'm probably rambling on. So I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I hope you like this tutorial. If you want to watch the iPad version, stick around because its version is continuing on this video. So have a great day. Thanks. Okay, so here we are in the iPad. And uh, if you didn't watch the beginning, I just pulled this in from one of the stock photos. I just put in action figure and this, and this is what came up but you can use any photo you want. And so I'm going to go to layers. I'm gonna press up here and show my layer. And this is an image. The first thing you have to do, well, I'll show you first. If you went to channels right away, channels just had red, green, blue, alpha. And if you click the three dots right here, it didn't give you a, cho a choice to invert it. So I don't wanna do that. I wanna go here and I wanna duplicate this layer. So I'm going to just press down on there and hit duplicate. So now that I duplicated it, I'm going to go up here and do rasterize right here. And now it's rasterized. And I'm going to make a few copies, three copies I need of that. So I'll, I'll use, I can either press down with my finger here and do again duplicate, which I did, or I can go up to the menu, which is this one up here, up right here, and, do, and I can hit duplicate there too. So now I made two cut these are the top three this one this one and this one of pixel layers the bottom one is just an image i'm just keeping that just in case i need to go back for some reason so let's hide the bottom two and let's go to the first one now that we have it as a pixel layer if you go down here again to channels you have three you have four more channels in the bottom and let's try the this pixel red channel this one right here i'm going to hit the two dots the three dots and do invert and it inverts it so you're basically you're inverting the red channel and it, it has a pretty interesting effect and i'll just leave it at that for now so i'll go back to here i'll hide that one and i'll put this one next and select it and i'll go to channels oops sorry i'll go to channels i'll go to the green color one and press here and do invert and it has a little bit of a different look and then i'm going to go back to layers hide that one select this one and so we did that so we're going to channels again and i'll go to the blue one and i'm going to do invert so everyone has a different look so let's turn them all on and now we just play it's all just for fun uh, just I, I enjoy once in a while just playing around and seeing what I can come up with and it may be horrible and it may be nice but it just keeps my mind going it keeps me a little more creative and it takes my mind off of a special project that I have to do or something so there's a lot of ways we can play with this for example um, I could take the first one 
which is what we're looking at. And I can change up here the layer mode, maybe to, let's try an overlay. Where is it? I could try so many. You can see all the different things. But I think I tried overlay the first time. But let me just go through them. You can see, look at the different effects just by changing the first one. And this is only uh, working the first to the second. I didn't go to the third yet. But this is if you just wanted to use the two. That one's really cool. I, <laughs> I really like that one a lot. So, I mean, if you wanted to just leave it at that, then you're done. So it's simple as that. But I actually, I really, really like that. Maybe I'll keep that one there. So let's keep subtract for now. Again, I'm just playing, so I don't know what the end result's going to be. So let's go back here. So this one is subtract, and then this one is normal. But if I, that, that, so none of this bottom one is showing. This one's not showing at all. So let's go here, and we'll go again. And this time we'll go into a different blend mode and see what we're getting. And there we go. Nothing. I thought nothing was happening, but yeah, there it goes. So you can do all kinds of different things right there and have some very interesting effects. So let's try overlay. And then I'm going to go back because I did, when I did it earlier, instead of um, subtract, whoops, on that top one, I was going to try, I think I was doing overlay on that too. And so now the overlay, well, I don't like the overlay in this case, because now it's going through to the third one. So you see each one affects the other by how far it's going. That one's pretty cool too. I like that a lot. That's negation and, and luminosity, saturation, hue, and subtract. I did like subtract there. That one, I like that one too. Difference is pretty cool. So now what you can do also is take the third one and, and or maybe the first or two, you forget even, we're not even using the third there. So let's go move it to the top. And now it has a different effect depending on which order they're in. So I can now take this one, which has normal, and it only shows normal and change that one too. So let's go back and see if we can make it into something interesting. And maybe we can't, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm just going through the line here. And that's pretty cool right there. So just that gives it an interesting look and it made the background white, which is interesting. That's fun. And I, I can keep going on and on. I mean, there's so many things. Another thing you can do with them, by the way, is let's go back to the layer, is not keep them in the same place. So now I put them all on overlay. I just wanted to try something different now. So again, I might switch it up. But I decided they, if they have all on overlay, they'll show through. And I'm going to be on my move tool. And I'm just going to slide one slightly over here. And then I'll go to the next one. Let me turn this on so it stays. There we go. I'll go to the next one. And I'll move that one maybe here or maybe up here. And you can, like I said, you can get different effects doing very different things. And you can rearrange them once again. So maybe I want the blue in a different spot. I don't know. Let's move that there and that changes it. Or I want the red one down here or down even one below that. Let's see. And that gives it a whole different look. So there's very, very different looks you can get. And then now that I moved them, that can be, that now you can also do this and change all this lighting effects and, and get different kinds of things. And then maybe if you decide you like something, and I don't know which one, maybe that one, let's say, right? And you like this look, then you can go up to the top here. On the top, you could say Merge Visible. And now you have a brand new layer on top. The bottoms cannot be seen, which now you can play with and not destroy your bottom ones. You can keep your bottom ones live. Maybe you can try some adjustments, and then you can go to HSL, and you can do this and decide, well, now I can do a lot more interesting stuff because I like the look of this. So you can kind of do anything you want like that. Maybe we can do curves after that and we can pull this up and you might like this kind of a look. So you get what I'm saying. This I'm not saying this is a beautiful piece, um, but I'm, what I'm trying, and you can crop it of course. What I'm just trying to show you is play around and have some fun. And even if you're not ending up with something you like, your mind is working and it's helping you be creative and maybe it'll spark new ideas. 
So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.